Good day and welcome to another edition of Literature and the Arts. Today we'll be considering Emily Brown's Woodring Heights. Woodring Heights is a fantastic novel, one of the recommended texts for senior secondary students uh, from 2021 to 2025. It's a novel that delves into lots and lots of themes that are very interesting and engaging. However, today we'll be considering Woodring Heights, a psychological landscape shaped by trauma and unrequited love. A uh, Woodring Heights, a psychological landscape shaped by trauma and unrequited love. You will see from the novel the character uh, Heathcliff, brought from London and adopted by the old angel, and grows in the house. But after the death of uh, old angel who adopts him, because the love old angel shows to this boy seems like a threat to the other children, uh, Indley and Catherine. Indley uh is angry with him and withdraws every uh opportunity and love that uh Heathcliff has always enjoyed during the time uh the old angel was alive and this boy grows in a very traumatic uh environment he was psychologically traumatized because a child who got lost in London, has not enjoyed his parents' love and care. Now, getting into the house of the angel, thinking that's an opportunity for him to enjoy the love that he did not get from his parents, but unfortunately, the one who loves him dies again, and then is left into the maltreating hand of Indley. Indley maltreats him, treats him like a slave. And because of that, it lives grows in an atmosphere of it. It grows in a situation where it does not enjoy love at all. The only person left in which he finds love is Catherine. And that shows how very hot he was the day years that Catherine said she could she cannot marry him because he was poor she was the only one that he felt he could find love that parental love that he lost that he couldn't get from his parents that love that he could he, 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 that got lo that died when old angel dies he felt he could only get it with Catherine but unfortunately, Catherine chooses Edgar over him. And that's why even after Catherine's death, he still could not get over loving her. Because the, uh, the, the childhood trauma of not having your parents, of being deprived of parental love, still haunts him all through his life. He felt that having old angel adopting him, oh, he felt like a daddy's boy again, that he always wanted to be. But unfortunately, old angel dies. So that love is lost. All his life, he didn't enjoy parental love. And that become is uh, the, uh, the unconscious motivation for Seeking after many years of living, he came back again. His first target was to come and visit Catherine because he still desires that love. So his unconscious motivation for his own uh, undying love for Catherine was because he still wants to feel loved. He still, he still feels that that childhood love that he did not enjoy is still hungry for it. We can also see 
that because uh, of the way Inly treats him, he was stripped of all the care that old Ensure gives him when old Ensure dies. So he was stripped of it. He was maltreated. He was he was embarrassed, and as a result of that. That was why he became vengeful. That was why he desired power by all means. Since the way I couldn't, what he tells himself is, since I could not get the person I love, Katrin, because I don't have money, I'm going to get that money. Since it's because Indley had some, the power, that's why he's maltreating me. That power, I'm going to get it. So that childhood trauma and experience is what becomes his unconscious motivations for his actions that he begins to take when he grows. So a person's action, especially a grown-up adult, is not, should not be dissociated from their upbringing. Their upbringing as a way of shaping their experiences, as a way of shaping their perception and their pursuit in life. So the childhood trauma that Heathcliff experiences, the trauma of losing his parents, not having his parents available, lost in the streets of London, at a very tender age. So from a young age, he doesn't understand what it means to experience a mother's care. He's in the streets, lost. And you know in the streets, you are vulnerable to anything. So that was the life that it cleave had. But luckily for him, he sees the he is adopted by old angel who shows him that parental love and care once again. And he begins to bask in that love and care until not too soon uh, uh, old angel dies, leaving him to the brutal brutality of Indley who cares nothing about him, who strips him of the love and care that he wants to enjoy and makes him a slave. And as a result of that, he still hungers and thirsts for that kind of love, that kind of love that he couldn't get in his spirit, that kind of love that death deprived him of getting from old angel. He still longs for it, and the only place he can get it was through catering. But unfortunately, that was why he was deeply hurt when he hears that Catherine is choosing Edgar over him. He feels that that was the greatest hurt he suffered. However, he comes back again, still haunting for that love and care and affection. He still has this love for Catherine even after she has died because he felt that he didn't enjoy that love from anyone else the childhood love the trauma that he experienced or also he feels he, he wants to get power by all means and pull down and make every person who, who, who traumatized him in his childhood to experience a taste of what they did that was why he went all out for Indley revenge he wanted to get all that they had those power, those economic power that they had, which we they used to repress and suppress him. He went to get it by all means, and as a result of that, he does revenge and afflicts all those who afflicted him. So, what is the take home from this for parents, for teachers, and everyone? We must mind how we shape the young people of today because it has a long way in shaping their mannerism, their character, their pursuit, their perspective to life when they grow up. Thank you for listening to this edition of Literature and the Hearts. See you next week. God bless you.